Alright guys, how's it going? KCP3 here with some quick gaming news for you. So pretty much, uh, a little bit Plan 3 has been delayed in Europe. So instead of coming out November 18 like the US, it's coming out additional week on November 26. And uh, one of the main reasons why the people of uh, Little Big Planet, you know, the people who made Little Big Planet 3 uh, made the decisions because they spread out, you know, the product through different countries and, you know, different you know territories and different times. And pretty much that's like a very good business plan, you know, spread your product out uh to different countries at different times that it will be definitely overload it will definitely be overload and complex if you spread a product a little bit plan three which is only a sony product to different countries all at one all at one day you know all at one particular time and it could be pretty much complex so you know that that idea i definitely agree with and i think many uh that's why you see different uh when a game comes out very big kind of game comes out it doesn't come out to every territory all at once it has different days and stuff like that so to get people you know let them enjoy it at that different time and let them get the experiences with it you know a little bit playing three definitely has a little audience uh also pretty much have a big audience you know there's some people there's some kids there's some adults that pretty much enjoy the formula little big planet three definitely got you know new improvements on gameplay like sack boy and he having these little friends to help him along to you know finish the puzzles throughout the world and, and throughout the levels and stuff like that. So it definitely has a um, you know a fan base from that area. So I think it's a pretty much a good idea. So if you're in Europe, you would not get it on November 18th like the U.S. You would get it an additional week. And uh, yeah, so on the 26th, you know people in Europe would definitely you know get a chance to play. So uh, it's just additional week, not really that bad. Um, also shout out Mordor, a game that came out uh, about two weeks ago, I believe. Uh, recently, you know, has you know been doing pretty well in the reviews and whatnot. Is half is a half price off. Uh, if you if you buy it on Steam, you know, if you purchase it on Steam on PC, you get it for half price off, and it definitely will be a uh, total price of thirty four ninety four. No, thirty four ninety three, and it pretty much you round that up, you know, it'll be a thirty five dollar. So that definitely be sixty dollar uh, sixty dollar uh, price cut any time of the day. Um, and pretty much you can pretty much go to a website called g2a.com and it has pretty much discounts on Steam keys and discounts on particular Xbox Live and PSN, uh, PSN games. So, you know, you don't have to pay the full 60 price. You may have to pay, you know, a little bit more. Uh, like half a price, you know, may have to pay twenty dollars less and stuff like that. And it's not really just, it's not really uh surprising because you know there are a lot of good um you know when upcoming Steam games come out uh for the PC alone, it definitely has you know you don't really have to pay the whole price. You definitely get a lot of discounts and stuff. And that's why many people turn to Steam and you know pretty much play on PC just because of the low prices and stuff like that. Um, you know, definitely a very good deal. So if you really want to, uh, you know, buy Shadow of Mordor, you don't have it yet, you have a PC, probably you want to, you know, get a lower price or something like that, you know, link in the description is going to be for the Steam key at g2a.com in the description, you know, you use the Steam key, uh, and it's pretty much $35, and, you know, it, it seems like a very legit site, so, uh, just, you know, be careful when you do it, but, you know, I, I've seen some comments and many people, uh, had tried it before um, in previous days and previous times and you know this hit is pretty much legit so I don't think you have anything to worry about so that's pretty much about it like comment subscribe let me know what you think about this gaming news at KCV3 and as always thanks for watching I will bring more gaming news throughout the weekend at least hopefully you know if my bit if my schedule isn't really as busy because I you know really want to talk about more you know gaming news anything I can find so that's it let me know and I'll uh, see you guys later thanks for watching